<clears throat> someone say something? Yeah, hello? God, I told those neighbors to keep it down! Uh, hello? We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Uh, sorry, still half asleep here. What was your name again? I'm Trask Olgo. Trask the Lego? Trask Olgo. <laughs> sorry, I've never made my way down to the gay district. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Hey. <laughs> Who's we? Uh, look, you can go say Bastila all you want. I'm gonna go catch up on some beauty sleep. I am a Republic officer, after all. I know you're a scout and not an officer. Excuse me? I am a Republic officer. Well, not an officer, really. <laughs> you swore an like oath like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Look, Mr. Lego, Trask sir, Olgo. you don't know who you're talking to, okay? Have you heard what everyone's saying about me? I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. Oh, well, if Mr. Lego hasn't heard of it. The Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Should I be stupid? Don't be stupid. Oh, okay. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get all out right, of here. All right, Mr. Lego, you Trask talk Olgo. about it. Now, where is it? It's in this footlocker here. This sure has been an experience. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override code. Wait, who has the override code? Don't worry, codes? I've got the override codes. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Wait, you just want me to take the lead again so that you can just hide behind my back, right? Don't be stupid. Yeah, whatever. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. You don't say. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. So everyone's getting all excited just because Karth says things are bad? If he says things are bad, you better believe it. Should I believe it? You better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. That door is locked. Then unlock it. I don't have the codes to open it. What do you mean you don't have the codes to open it? You're the one who dragged me out here because we have to go see Bastila. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Don't worry, I got him. Lego, what part of I got him do you not understand? Whew. Us officers aren't built for this Well, not an officer, really. Guess I better heal up. Woo! That hurt. Fire in the hole! Uh, you just never get used to that. <laughs> Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have hey, used your help. Watch the language. <laughs> Dodge <Ooh. laughs> Shing, shing, shing. Bastila's not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. See, this Bastila, she's pretty hot, right? You better believe it. So what do you think? A hot girl like Bastila and a guy like me? Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance. <sighs> Noted. So where do you think you're going? There's something behind here. Yeah, doors tend to have things behind them. Damn, another one here. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Goodbye, Lego. Last logo. You were a great friend. You made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Bastila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Cool, but you said there was only one escape pod left. Is it big enough for both of us? There'll be time for questions later. Got it. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. <laughs> Was that Bastila in my dream? She is a looker.
Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. <laughs> Not exactly a nightmare, but what's been happening since I've been out? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things, but try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. Well, I do certainly appreciate it. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Ah, uh, yes, Bastila. <laughs> Mr. Lego told me all about her and how hot she was. And let me tell you, in my dream, I was able to confirm that. And it was a lovely few days. I don't know whatever you were doing, but <laughs> me and Bastila got to spend a lot of time together. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Don't do anything stupid. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Yeah, but in all seriousness, though, don't you two work together, like, regularly? How are you able to get any of your job done? It requires great concentration and focus. Yeah, I'll bet it does. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. And we'll probably need some money. I, now, I'm thinking nothing too crazy, but we could maybe kidnap someone that's uh, worth a lot of money, hold them hostage, and then contact their friends or family, and then exchange them for a lot of money. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move Not out. Yeah, got some questions for you. Yes, what's on your mind? Have you ever had a girlfriend? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for okay, years. Okay, so no? You're the one who wanted to know more about me. Well, this is it. This is what I am. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... Hey, it's okay. Just because you were a, a pathetic loser that no one ever wanted to be in the past doesn't mean you can't change that. I know that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. Not exactly. You probably mean well with your questions. Probably I'm just not, not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Just Keeping not my mind getting focused action. on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions... Ask them later. Well, hold on. What if I do have more questions? Ask them later. All right, fine. Let's get going. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. Sounds like y'all better do what he says. <laughs> Idiot. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, Karth, do you think they're going to attack us next? We should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. What's this? <gasps> Humans hiding out with aliens? No, no, they're it's not what it looks fugitives. like. We don't attack. like aliens either. A couple of grunts like us, huh, Karth? <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing? I was just curious if there was something in here that I could steal. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. I don't know who Holden is. You're gonna have to explain who that is. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. Well, he sounds like an okay guy. I don't see what the problem is. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. You can trust me with all of your secrets. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's that why I'm hiding really out here. That really hard. But anyway, do you want to go on a date with me? I doubt it. All right, soldier. Let's move 